Hi, I'm Ron Skibbins. I'm a returning officer with Elections Nova Scotia, and in this video, I'm going to talk you through one of the key elements of the presiding officer's job at a continuous poll, the administration of the voting process. Administering the voting process means providing the voter with a ballot, ensuring the integrity of what happens behind the polling screen, making sure the ballot gets collected, and marking the voter as having voted in the Election Management System, or EMS for short. Voting using the continuous poll process is conducted at early voting poll locations, advanced polls, campus polls, and community polls. Here's how it works. An elector will arrive at your table with their certificate to vote, which the deputy presiding officer will have provided to them. Take their certificate to vote and search for the elector in EMS by scanning the elector's ID barcode printed at the top of the certificate to vote or manually entering the elector's ID number. Then you'll mark the elector as having voted in EMS. Once the elector is marked as voted, instructions will appear in a pop-up message in EMS. Follow these instructions to issue a ballot to the elector. Oh, here's something you should know. If you're running a continuous poll before the nomination day for candidates, the ballot will be different than the ballot printed after nomination day. After nomination day, all of the candidates are listed on the ballot and the voter places a mark next to their preferred choice. Before nomination day, you'll be issuing a write-in ballot to electors. On the write-in ballot, the elector either selects the party they wish to vote for, or writes in the name of the candidate they wish to vote for. If the elector chooses to vote for an independent candidate, they must write in the name of that candidate. The ballot changes immediately following nomination day. Now that all of the candidates are nominated, you will begin printing ballots on demand for voters at the continuous poll. These ballots look like an election day ballot and list all of the nominated candidates in the district the ballot is being generated for. Just like before nomination day, the continuous poll continues to serve in-district and out-of-district electors. Here's how it works. EMS will display instructions in a pop-up message to print the ballot on demand. You'll have a book of ballots on demand. Tear off the next ballot, make sure it has been initialed, load it into the printer, and follow the on-screen instructions to print the ballot. Sometime between nomination day and the election day, you will receive election day ballots for in-district voters. This is the same type of ballot also used on election day. Once this happens, you must use these pre-printed ballots for all in-district electors. EMS will prompt you to provide an election day ballot to the elector. If the elector resides out of district, a pop-up message will appear in EMS to print the ballot on demand. This ballot will list the candidates running in the elector's home district. So, there are a number of ballots you'll need to be ready to provide to voters throughout the writ period, depending on the timing of their visit to the continuous poll. Don't worry, you can't go wrong if you follow the on-screen instructions provided by EMS. Now, it's time to give the elector their ballot. Initial the ballot, and fold it in such a way that the initials are visible when folded. Give the ballot to the elector and ask them to bring the ballot back to you, folded the same way you gave it to them. This is to ensure the ballot you gave them is the same one that goes in the box. Once you've handed the voter the appropriate ballot, the process from there is the same for all electors and ballots. Have the voter go behind the voting screen to mark the ballot. Once they've brought their ballot back to you, verify the initials on the ballot, remove the counterfoil, and place the counterfoil in the bag provided for that purpose. Detach the envelope at the top of the certificate to vote and place their marked ballot in the envelope and seal it. Finally, hand the envelope to the elector and have them place it in the ballot box. Now, immediately place a check mark in the voted box in the poll record on the certificate to vote. Place the certificate to vote in the binder for that purpose. And lastly, at the bottom of the pop-up message in EMS, click where indicated to complete the voting process. And that 
is how democracy happens.